the world of fly tying will try to sell you a lot of extra products. Uh, I've been fly tying for about 20 years now. I'm a professional fly designer for Umqua Feather Merchants, and I have a very minimalistic set of tools on my desk. So obviously we have the vise, which we've talked about a little bit. Whether that's a stationary vise or a rotary vise, that's more of a preference. A good bobbin, in my opinion, is crucial. I like the fine, the narrow-tipped ceramic bobbins. Uh, the ceramic, obviously, is smooth. Makes it easier on the thread. Doesn't break thread as easily. But that narrow tip I like because you're able to work your way all the way back into tight places, even with smaller hooks. It's not fancy. It doesn't have any tension on it. Um, you can go there if you prefer. It's just a standard fine tip uh, ceramic bobbin. This one happens to be made by TMCO. Always important to have a bodkin. This is essentially just a long metal needle. It usually has a handle on it. Uh, wonderful for uh, applying my favorite glue that I think is also an essential part, and that's the Zappa Gap. All these are pretty cheap, affordable tools as well. You don't have to go crazy with these. Uh, I prefer the scissors that sit in the hand. And I'll have links to where you can purchase all these, but I prefer the scissors that sit in the hand. Some people uh, prefer the traditional style scissors. Uh, maybe something like this. But the ease of having that tool in your hand as you work. Either way, whatever you decide, it needs to have very fine tips and they need to be razor sharp for your work there. Uh, bobbin threader. So this is a very simply just a little piece of metal and this slides right down the stem of the bobbin when you switch thread types. So you slide it through there, slide the slack thread through the opening in that and when you pull it back out of the tip of the bobbin, the thread will come with it. So bobbin threader. Uh, the last thing that I think is extremely helpful for a lot of the stuff that I do is it's called loon swax. And it's just a sticky adhesive material. Uh, it's, the, I guess, the modern day version of beeswax that allows you to apply a little bit of tack uh, to the thread. One thing that's maybe not commonly considered uh, is the style of hackle plier that you use. So once again, these are pretty cheap and affordable. But this type of hackle plier has a longer handle on it. And it actually spins and rotates. So as I wrap it around the hook, which you'll see in some of my videos, it rotates with me. Much, much easier than a stationary piece. Uh, the last piece of equipment, I'll bring in one from the side here. I actually have two of these on my desk, but it's just a good lamp. Um, I prefer uh, the Otlight Company. And that's a little bit more expensive, but the Ot light gives off uh, LED light, so it's nice and cool. It doesn't get hot, and it shows it in a natural spectrum, too, so you get a better idea of the true colors on your patterns. Those are the basis of the materials that I use. That's what I do all my work with. That's what I tie all my flies with.